This tutorial is going to be covering the tail on text feature of the Action Pro Studio. You will need to have a document open in order for the icon to become active. So I'm going to open a new document. Now my icon is active, so I'm simply going to click on the tail on text icon and it will bring up my tail on text window. First, choose your template. We have many designs without outlines, with outlines, some with a line of text in the tail portion. Once you've selected your tail template, your options to customize it will become available down here. This part is where you can place the word baseball with whatever you want. I'm going to go ahead and put the word cardinals in there. If you have chosen a template with text on the tail, you'll be able to go ahead and change it right here. I'm going to change wildcats to football. Down here is where I'm going to change my colors. You can see the different color swatches. So this yellow here is for the text fill. If you want to change that color, just click on the swatch. It's going to bring up the select color window. Let's just go ahead and put a nice red in there and hit OK. These other two black swatches are for the tail text fill. So the color for the word football in the tail. The other one is for the outline going around the text and tail. I'm going to go ahead and click on this black swatch here and change it to a white. But I'll go ahead and keep the outline here black for this example. Go ahead and hit OK. It's going to generate my tail on text and drop it right into the center of my page. This looks great. I can move it. I can resize it. This example generates perfectly. I'm going to make another one that's not going to come out so perfect to show how you'd be able to fix that. I'm going to go ahead and click on the tail on text, choose a template. Let's go ahead, I'm going to change this one now to Action Illustrated. I'm going to change my text fill and change the tail text fill and go ahead and hit OK. So my tail on text has been generated, but since the word action is so much shorter than the word baseball, and because the curve of the N is ending in a different spot than the curve of the L, you can see it's slightly off. The great thing is that this is still completely editable. I'm just going to ungroup it. So I'm going to want to click on my action here and size it up to match my tail. But when I do that, you can see that there's actually two actions, two word actions in my design here. So I'm just going to grab both of them by using my pick tool and selecting a box that would encompass both of them. Now I can go ahead and stretch this out to make it the length of the tail. I'm also going to move this down so it matches this curve better. This tail here is actually just a clean piece of vector artwork. So I can go ahead and use my shape tool to adjust the nodes to make this line up perfectly with the curve of the end. If you're unfamiliar with how to manipulate nodes, I would definitely go back and watch our Corel Draw tutorials that cover that. The last thing I'm going to do is go ahead and stretch out my Word Illustrator to fill out my tail a little bit more. Now that looks great. And that's how you use the tail on text feature.